Okay, in this session we're going to export our parcels from Civil 3D into InfoWorks. So you'll want to make sure that your parcels file is open. There should just be parcels in this drawing. Uh, we're going to click uh, the Output tab on our ribbon and we're going to select the option that says Export Civil Objects to SDF. So you're going to click that button. You're going to select the location of where to store your SDF file. And SDF is a spatial data format and works great for things like closed polygons like parcels. So I'm going to save that uh, SDF file in a location, select OK. It'll write that file out and it should tell you on the command line how many objects it has exported. And in InfoWorks I'm going to come into the Data Sources tab and uh, on my Add Data Sources drop-down button I'm going to select the option that says SDF and then I will browse out for my SDF file where I saved it and uh, hit open and it'll bring it into the my list there it says no feature type we will have to go and configure it so double click uh, where it says parcels and uh, what we'll do is we will select the source or sorry the drop down under the type it's a drop down here and we will set it to say coverage areas so click coverage areas and uh, if you want you can set a style uh, to how those should look so you can click your little style chooser button and uh, it should bring it up into the coverages option um, you can also click into zoning and pick any of these different styles if you like and then say OK and uh, one last thing we'll want to do is we'll want to drape that to the surface. So I'm going to come into the Source tab and I'm going to say Drape. And uh, I'll say Convert Closed Polylines to Polygons. And I will then click Close and Refresh and I should see my parcels on my uh, menu, or sorry, on my model. And you can change these any way you want. Uh, if you just double click back on that parcels and you want to set another style, you can go in there and and change it to whatever you like and uh, close and refresh and update that information. Another thing you might want to try also with your model to uh, make your surface look a bit more realistic is if you go to the terrain section you can make sure that you have a terrain imported and you should be able to see it on your screen. If you click your create and manage your model button here that'll bring up this option and we can go down into the model properties. That'll control the properties for the entire model. If you select that, uh, you should have an option that says terrain, and you can set the default style to that terrain. So under here, we can so we have some different options. Uh, land cover might be your best bet, and if you double click on that, you could set up something, any type of surface that you like. So uh, say OK and uh, OK, and then that'll generate a new styled background for your surface and you'll have to pan out to see your your new surface there